Hello guys, and uh, sorry for the delay because like last minute uh, there is some issue with the internet access, so I have to relocate myself to another place. And uh, today I would like to talk to you the topics that I'm favorite about uh, the living the law of attraction that I have been uh, searching, uh, research and applying uh, for the last uh, two or three decades. And this is my favorite topics. I can continue talking about it for days. And today I just have uh, one hour and one and a half hours to share with you about these favorite topics. So I try to concise it and I will focus about uh, one or two things, uh, two or three things rather than a lot. So, so I hope you can uh, pay attention. According to the law of attractions, you are kind of magnet. You attract people and things in your life based on the quality of your thoughts, feelings, and intention. And this law of attraction, this this law of attraction workshop is based on the ideas that we attract to ourselves what we need to realize our dreams. And the people who find a greater success in life are those who have achieved great dreams and suddenly have one thing in common. They know we attract the resources they need to succeed. And we must recognize that we are surrounded by the universe resources that need that contain all powers and all knowledge and wisdoms. So we know that is a wisdom and the energy in this universe. So people like um, Mother Teresa, uh, Oprah Winfrey, Steve Jobs, and Bill Gates, they have big dreams and the burning sense of purpose and they attract themselves, the followers and resources to support their dreams. As a result, they make a big difference in the world. So we all have dreams, we have great dreams. And it's very important to us. And uh, we might be, um, you may have dreams that create your own business, that will provide quality services to your customers, or you become a, a very famous authors, or you will be making millions of dollars on the online digital businesses. So today I like to share with you um, there are four areas. First thing I would like to uh, help you to find out to align with your purpose in life. So today I will focus a lot about uh, how to find your life purpose in life and also identify and also prioritize your dreams. So I also in yeah, time I will help you to set specific goals. And uh, I will touch on something about visualization and also affirmations and how to affirm your success. And also the last but not least, the create and uh, action plans. So trust, first of all, um, as you move through the sessions, we will tapping into your own inner guidance. We will talk more about it later. So the law of attractions state that whatever you give attention and energy to what you will attract into your life, light attract light energy. When you have a positive outlook and also feel enthusiastic about what you imagine happening, the universe will match the energy. It delivers positive and enthusiastic. In brief, and and you are the vibration. The negative charge will, of these thoughts and I'm sure you realize that if you start off with a bad day, let's say you spill your coffee into in, into into uh, discomfort and then then it will affect one another. And then you was you were you were you were you. Were, I mean, you will be impatient with the wife or impatient with the children, 
and then the children daddy is uh, mommy is doing and then just got scolded without any reasons and then because of that your day may not be uh, uh smooth when i started not too smooth but i will not affect so uh i will be as usual joyful these uh, topics to you so have you this kind of experience if you have please put a yes or your hand that you have this kind of experience and then will also cause you the ripple effect productive actually the morning session you will have a very good morning that's why in the morning it's very important vibration energy and then the most important thing is like when you wake up in the morning few minutes meditation if you are in the rush then maybe you do five minutes to quickly calm your mind and then set up a good vibrational energy for the universe to the atmosphere to most people and with that energy you also because everything is all match with your vibration energy if you have a good vibration energy things everything will go on smoothly if you have um uh a bad bad start in the morning then the ripple effect will last for, for, for quite some time so uh i will suggest to you do a five minutes uh, gratitude uh, do uh, like one minute gratitude and also go inward and quiet down yourself and visualize the day that you want to how are you going to uh, what are things that you're going to achieve for the day and um, and uh, visualize positively if your if your visualization is so vivid I can do that your your, your day will come true like I just reopened my restaurant and uh, I suddenly business work wasn't very good. So I do a visualization on Sunday that uh, the crowds keep on coming nonstop and the business will be very good. I have certain targets that I want to achieve. Surprisingly, um, my restaurants open from 11 to 3 o'clock and then uh, we will reopen at 5 o'clock. So I did a visualization and before 5 o'clock, 5 minutes to 5, people already wanted to come in with it. And from, 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 from 5 o'clock onward, the customer keep on coming non-stop until the last customer that we have to, uh, I mean, they refuse to, to, to go. Uh, we have to close our uh, restaurant at night. So uh, it works all the time. So uh, you want to have a effortless uh, life What's the important thing is like you have to understand and how you can apply the law of attractions and there is no complication about the law of attraction and it's, it's very it's very easy and it's not complicated at all so the process of law of attraction will be always uh, described as ask believe and receive and also similar to like um, intention attentions and no tension is something similar so once you conceive dreams that is aligned with your purpose you ask the universe to fulfill your request then you trust and also affirm and support that that needs will show up so you live unexpectedly just as you do when you plan a power seat so you watch for it and uh, you welcome the support, supportive opportunity that begin to arise and you also raise your vibrational level so that you will be ready to notice and receive the good of the universe opportunity so so what is the important thing is you ask and you must believe that you will achieve and then you just let go and ready to receive it's similar like what i said like you you, you want to want something you just ask the universe to do it and then you want to have a mango you just plant the mango and then 
uh, you have to do something about it and just not ask about doing anything. So I, I would like to use the terms like uh, you must have the intention first. And then whatever things that you want, you put it in the uh, attention. Attention means like uh, I will do whatever it needs to to get prepared and to have the cohesive uh, environment to achieve your dreams. And once you do everything that you have done, just leave it. Just leave it. And then the the, uh, the outcome will come. Sometimes the outcome may come very fast. Sometimes the outcome may take some time. Because everything that you want in life, you cannot like set your timing. Yeah, sometimes you do set your timing when you set your goal. Okay, sometimes you didn't achieve the, 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 the target that you achieved. You have to revise your target date again. Especially you are expecting miracles to happen in your life. Something that uh, uh, not within your control. You have to uh, believe in it and uh, just expect the miracles will happen because it does happen to be time again, 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 many, many times. Sometimes the miracle will happen only the last minute, maybe the day before or the week before it will happen. And it, it, ha it does happen to me because uh, what's important thing is like, why I didn't achieve it at that earlier and only the last minute because Earlier, when I wanted something, you know what happened? I was keep on focusing and using my concentration on my my my, my consciousness. I keep on concentrating the things that I want on the conscious level. So the conscious level cannot be connected to the universe energy to the universe. There is a connection is not there. It's like I keep on focusing on my computer to get connected to the Wi-Fi without the Wi-Fi gadget, without the the the, the, the uh, Wi-Fi uh, 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 suppliers, no matter how hard it work, it will not work. Your frequency and your connections is is not connected. So what's the one thing you have when when things happen to you like that? I would suggest you to just quiet down. You have to sit back. If you work so hard want to achieve things in life. You have to sit and then you didn't achieve it, you have to sit back and then quiet down your mind and go inward and subconscious level. If you find it very difficult to go for it, I I, I, I normally use the five, four, three, two, one. This is the miracles. Every time that you want something in your life, you just go for five, four, three, two, one. Then you say what you want. Like before I was in the mess just now, I had to change locations. But just before I get started, I said five, four, three, two, one. I say I will come and then I will inspire. I I'm 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 I will be proven with my with my talks. Energy will go go is very full uh, 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 very freely with me and uh, impressed you guys so because whether because things happen they are two types of emotion one is a negative emotion another one is a positive emotions either way is an emotion and you can turn the negative emotion into a positive emotion let i say i i share this uh, example before in the past but like you want to go for a roller coaster some of them would really enjoy excited about the roller coaster experience some of them were so fearful and then the palm was sweating and then they're having the palpitations they're very scared of the rural poster why not you turn that emotion into a positive emotions that you tell yourself i'm going to have an excitement by riding the rural coaster i'm going to enjoy it i'm going to have a tremendous experience excitement by riding the rural coaster you just switch the uh the uh, negative emotions to the positive emotions. Always remember that everything's happened to you. Either you go, either either you are, you are going going to the negative emotion or the positive emotions. You can anytime turn the uh, uh, negative emotions to the positive emotion. It it just it's just your conscious visualization by turning the uh, negative emotion just 
just tell yourself, I, I will enjoy. Uh, I feel great. I really have a great time. You do that. You do that every time that things didn't go well to you, you turn the emotion because when you're having the positive emotion, you will generate positive energy to the environment that will attract the same kind of energy back to you. So, um, so understand the law of attraction is a way to get what you want in life. And uh, here, I will share with you some of the basic law about the, um, the, uh, the law of attractions. You create your reality. You are a power of beings. Your feelings, thoughts, and actions attract that energy. You can create a vibrational match with what you want in order to attract. So abundance is natural, like the seed growing into the plants and create more seeds. So whatever is the center of your life will be the source of prosperity, guidance, wisdom, and help. That's what Stephen Hawking said. So to create a consistent, cohesive results, we must align with our purpose first. So um, I will share with you how you can create your purpose in life because many of us, like we take it for granted, we just work hard and get a good job and uh, take responsibility to provide uh, uh, a well-being for your family, for your children, and for your wife, for your parents, and you forgot about yourself and you've forgotten about who you are, why you are here in this world. So we do randomly create positive thoughts and feelings and track like results. But to create consistent, cohesive results, we must align with our life. So every person has a unique purpose in this lifetime. So the purpose reflects on our passions and also our strengths. So it is expressions of who we are at our so our purpose is our primary gift we have to bring to the world. So when you align with your thoughts and also feelings and actions with your purpose, you experience a sense of flow, flow and deep satisfaction to the benefit others at the same time. So when you align with your life purpose, your strengths and you become unstoppable you are in the momentum. So the universe listens and then line up the resources that match your vibrational uh, level. So let's begin uh, the next part of uh, our sessions. Then I'll discuss about the, um, the uh, principle about, as I said, as I said earlier, uh, you discover your life purpose it is important to understand three key uh, ideas. You create your own reality, you are powerful. Your feelings and thoughts attract light energy and you can create a vibrational match with what you want in order to attract it. So understanding law of attraction is the way to get what you want in life. Here are the basic principles that I share with you. So, so your purpose is like the feel of uh, sunflowers in blows in blossom. So the gardens of a huge yellow plants as big beauties and also bear fruits as they are they were created to do so. So your purpose is what you have been created, what you have been contributed. So before you were born, you when you were born, you already have the purpose in life. You just that you you are you are you are actually planted with a microchip. Exactly how you grow from a baby to to uh, 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 to uh, to a young kids, to a, a teenagers, to an adult, to an to a older man. So, like like we women, uh, practically when we were like 16, 18 years old, we can even can bear children. So it's it's a fact of life. So each sunflower begins as a seed. Each goal is an intention. So universe plant the seed. It's up to you to water it. So in order to grow, we need the sunshine. We, 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 will, we will nurture the 
the sunflowers, we sunshine, we water, we fertilizers, and also we love and the sunny thoughts and the feelings. So the seed is naturally attracted to sunshine based on its natural desire and the inner guidance. It bursts open and send a stalks upward and also eventually flowers. A full grown plant results generating beauty, providing seeds to eat and expressing its full potential. So the sunflowers that arise out of this individual seed fulfill its purpose. It's like when we grow, we study, and we graduate from university, we grow as adolescents, then we, and then uh, we, we start to take responsibility to, uh, to raise a family, to raise the children, and to take care of the family, to take care of the parents, to take care of the children, and to fulfill your purpose as a father or the mother. So similarly to the flowers. So they um so together they bring the the sunflower they bring delights and nutrition to many of us. So in the same way as a plant, as a plant, as plant, the seeds of various goals and intention and help them to grow with positive thoughts and feelings and trusting your inner guidance, they will blow. They will bloom and they will realize your, and then you will also will realize your life purpose. Tell everyone what you want to do and someone will want to help you. So most important is that you believe in yourself and that you are worthy of being, having your dreams come true. You must also be willing to receive all the universe wants to offer you. So just as the sun and the rains, that neutrons and the neutrons in the ground will help the sunflowers to bloom. And um, many natural forces will align to support your purpose and dreams. Believe in the seed inside yourself and ready to notice that make use of all the support that show up from the world around you. So, what do you want to create in your life? The Blake Clement Stone said, whatever the minds of men can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Whatever you can conceive and believe, you can achieve if you align with your inner purpose and you build on your strengths and the universe will respond abundantly. When you reach the end of the lifetime, Or do you think that you will be able to look back and feel fully satisfied the life you had lived? Ask yourself this question at the end of the lifetime. What questions, what questions do you ask yourself? Are you feeling fulfilled or you are regretted? The Australian, one of the ladies, um, her name is called Bronnie Wei. She is also the Australian host, she's a canvas. And uh, she did a study on the terminal ill these uh, patients that these people are almost dying. So she does a study to many of these people. She, she asked she asked these people about whether they will do anything different. Was there anything they would have done differently? They are, most of the people, uh, this, this is not the top five regrets of those people who are, who are almost dying. So they say, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expect of me. I wish I didn't work so hard. I wish I had the courage to express my feeling. I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. I wish I had let myself be happy. So at this moment, you have reached a certain stage in your life. And do you have these questions? Is it one of the questions you will ask yourself at this stage now that you are not really fulfilled? So 
you will have all these questions. So what most important is the point is that you have to remain open to discover and tune into your destiny and follow the universe to work in tandem with you. So how many of you already have a life purpose that you are pursuing at the moment? You just put in your check and say yes or no. If you have already a right purpose, I congratulate you. And you have not, probably today we will do something about it to help you to find your purpose in life. So I will ask you to decide now that you are going to live the life that you are truly yours and uh, decide now that you are going to live the life you meant to live and decide now that you're going to live this lifetime without having fulfilled your mission. Uh, decide now that you're not going to look back with regrets. So I will ask you this, ask yourself, what to, to, in order to find your purpose, there are a few questions I'd like you to uh, uh, take out a pen, pen and a paper. I want you to drop down, these are the uh, ideas that flow to you. Uh, I give you a 30 seconds to look for a piece of paper and also the pen. This is very important. I have discovered my life purpose about maybe two decades ago. I've been still living with my life purpose. I never changed. Am I doing all the things that are according to my life purpose? I will tell you my life purpose later on. So are you ready? What do you ask yourself? What do you love to do? What activities or pursue can you completely lose? Sometimes you're forgotten about uh, taking your lunch or dinner. Sometimes you even forgotten to uh, uh, go to sleep. Sometimes you're forgotten your appointment. You are in the zone. When you are doing something you are passionate about, you are so joyful about, you are lost time. Time is not, it's not, it's not a concern to you anymore. You can be like in the zone for a long, long time. So do you feel something calling you? Ask yourself. When do I feel most joyful, alive, and fulfilled? Recall, what are the things that you have done that give you the joy, that you feel so alive, so enthusiastic, so fulfilling? Ask yourself this question. Think back. Think back a moment. When was the time that give you this type of joy? Just write down. Give yourself a 30 seconds to write down. Daniel, do you have the sheet for that? Daniel? Yes, I sent out already. You sent out the demo. Oh, you can fill up the, you can fill up. What do I feel most joyful, alive and uh, fulfilled? You can type it in your word document. It's very important. I, I want everybody to find your life purpose. It's, Trust me, if you find your life purpose, your life is can be very fulfilling. You are your trip to this planet Earth will not be a wasted trip. Ready? Then we go to the next one. So, what natural talents and interests do I have? What skills helps you? What skills that you need? What makes you feel and power when you when you apply this skill set. What comes naturally to you? And how do you spend your free time, your weekend, your holiday? Most of the time, what do you do? What do you do with your holidays, with your weekend? And uh, what what are things you are passionate about? I'm not talking about watching uh, movies or Netflix or the YouTube's. Uh, 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 movie or, or or just focus on it. It's something that you're passionate about, something you go out, probably you play football or you go for uh, playing your musical instruments or you're doing something that 
charity that give you the fulfillment or you are some doing something like gaming that you are interested uh for me i love to do like work parcel when I, whenever i'm free i really enjoy the work parcel now i can uh i mean i i can go very fast with that even a very difficult work parcel so what do others say you are good at <coughs> what what are the people what are uh, some of your friends are, are, are coming to you for help for advice and uh, you should also look for the patterns you you may be taking for granted all these times that you didn't know that you have these talents but from now onward i want you to observe yourself to observe you may be very talented in something but you have taken it for granted this you thought that all oh, these talents everybody has it like uh, most of the children when they are two three years old they can see light in most of the being people people around them they see light they see the aura they see the very bright aura around them to so the child is like nothing is unusual this is like normal everybody also i can see aura i can see them in golden light i can see them in white light and see them in red light and see them in, in yellow light orange light or green light or blue light they, they see all this but they, they to them is is very normal to us it's like unusual because you need to have a wisdom eyes open in order to see that so uh, you may think that it's very uh, it's normal, but to other people can be very unique. So I want you to observe the patterns that you have. What are the things that you're talented in? Nobody is born to be. Nobody. Everybody be born with unique talents in some way. Even the autistic child, they are quiet. They, their learning is not so so good in their learning. In, in their schoolwork, but they definitely are talented in some way. Some of them in mathematics, some of them are in music, some of them in like um, physics or something like that. So, so everybody is talented. Like my one of my one of my nephew, he his study was so bad. He always the bottom five in the class. So, uh, but. When he was in the 17s, he realized that he's very good in create, create creations like um, art. So he went into like uh, interior decoration. And interior decoration, you don't really have to do a classroom, mostly on the handiwork. Okay, he passed his diploma and uh, and uh, he designed my restaurant, he designed my environmental office, he designed my uh, my 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 home. He also designed my Singapore office. He is talented. His study was in the bottom, but he was talented. He's very creative in designing the uh, interior design. So for home and also for office or for office. So uh, you just have to tap into what are you good at. Obviously, somebody, definitely, every one of us is talented in something. Okay. So what do I love doing? Very important. So ask yourself these questions. What are the things I'm most passionate about? What are my greatest accomplishments in life so far? Think back. What are the accomplishments that you have in the past? So I, I have so many accomplishments when I was a teenage. teenage uh, I was a very adventurous. Uh, my daughter is also taking after me. So I was very adventurous. I, I try a lot of things and I good at a lot of things too because I, I did to try. And um, what are my greatest accomplishments in life so far? What was your ac accomplishment? Definitely you have achieved many accomplishments in your lifetime. So think back. But what probably you have not thought about that, but I want you to think back now. Take some time to think back. What are the accomplishments that you have so far? That when you think about it, when you recall the accomplishment, they give you the joy, give you the satisfaction, they give you the fulfillment. If my life had absolutely no limit, so what would I choose to have and what would I choose to do? 
It's a very important question. If there's no limit in time, space, and money, you have all the money to create something that you want, what will you do? What will you do? Ask yourself this question. You have the magic wand that you touch anything, it turns gold. Turn gold. And then you have all the money, you have all the manpower to support you, you have all the facility to help you to achieve your things that you want, and time, money is not a limitation. What will you do? Think about that. What will you do? You have the free hand to do anything that you want. What will you do? Will you want to be the president of the country or you want to be the famous authors or you want to be a multi-millionaire or you want to be a politician, you want to be a, a famous authors, anything that you want to do or you want to be a philanthropy, what are the things that you want to do if you time money and resources is not it's not a it's not a limit limitation what will you do and then what are your goals in life what are your goals in life um i set many goals in my life and um i also know that many of us never ever set any goals in their life they set their goals to plan where to go for the holidays uh, when to eat their their best best meals on this Saturday? Where do I go? Uh, where do I go for my holiday? Uh, they plan that, but actually, have you ever thought about what will you be? Where will you be? And what will you be in three years time? In five years time? In ten years time? And when you are fifty five years old? When you're 60, when you go retirement, what are you going to do? And when you when you reach 60s, what are the things you already accomplished? What are the things that you always wanted to do and you have not had a chance to do it? What are the what are the goals in life? So it would be good to write 100 goals that you want to achieve, 100 things that you want to do in this lifetime. The bucket list. Think about that. Write down from now onward, tonight, I want you to uh the, my dreams write down 10 dreams in your life tomorrow add in another more 10 dreams and then the next following days add in another more 10 dreams and then you have to reach 100 100 and uh, without any limitation you can say i i want to go to the moon or i want to travel around the world i want to be the greatest authors on my books and i want to meet so and so that you admire so much you can say any dreams so whom do i admire most in this world it's very important to also uh to have somebody that you admire and um this is very important it's somebody you can also uh uh what do you call that uh Whenever, whenever you you are feeling sad, you just think about the person. How this person achieve their success? This person will give you the motivation. If 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 I'm like him, what would I do? If I'm so and so, some person, somebody you admire so much, what would what would this person think about when you face the same situation again? So it will be have then you immediately have a good vibrational match with that person. Think like if you are somebody like Steve Jobs that you admire his, uh, his, 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 his diligence, his intelligence, his persistency. And uh, if you are faced certain situation, what will Steve Jobs do? Think, think like him. And obviously you also have to read about him and know, know about him. Uh, you have to read his uh, bio, his profile, read everything about the person. So when you want to be like this person, always when you have certain situation, when you're in the crossroad, when you want to make a major decision, what would this person do? What would this person do? So this is one of very good way to solve your issue. So what do I like to do? What do I like to do? 
what's the important thing is what I love to do, what I like to do, what I enjoy doing it. How hard am I willing to work to get what I wanted? I really wanted, uh, I have opened my uh, vegan restaurant called Loving Heart for since 2008. It has been 14 years now. I closed my Loving Heart for two years because of the uh, COVID-19, the MCO, because there's the, in Malaysia, the cases were up and down, up and down. I supposed to reopen my Loving Heart last year, May, but I couldn't because the uh, in June 2021 and July, the, the the, the situation was was in the worst condition. So I had delay. And it, it has been difficult because it's very short of manpower. And uh, also, there are also uncertainty, but I just set myself a target that I want to reopen in July. Regardless of what happened, I just persist on and continue to do it because I love to do it. I really enjoy doing it. and. Uh, I've been telling Aaron and some of my staff, I never have worked so hard in my life at this age now to reopen my, my, my restaurant again. I become the, the temporary manager for the restaurant now, which for the last 14 years, the last 12 years, I never, never, never involved in the operation. I just like overseeing the success, the quality of the products and also the smooth operation. I never involved in the operation at all, but I personally like every day, you can see me there restaurant all the time. From, um, from uh, 10 o'clock onward, I'll be there until nine. And then they work so hard people. So it's something I'm passionate about something that I really wanted to do to make uh, Loving Heart one of the best vegan restaurants in Malaysia. I tell you that because this is something that I want to do. And uh, every day I keep on uh, enhancing the quality, enhancing the, uh, the, the setting, the look, the beauty of the restaurant, the environment. And uh, I talk to my customer. Every a customer comes in there, I, I talk to them. I make them feel very comfortable make them feel at home. So I like to, that's my dream, to make Loving Heart one of the best vegan restaurant in Malaysia. So last but not least, uh, what am I passionate about? I passionate about So passion. What is your passion? Is learning is your passion? Creativity is your passion? Personal growth your passion? Or mindfulness your passion? Or helping and uplifting others your passion? Or health and fitness is your passion? Or career growth is your passion? Or money management is your passion? Or, or maybe you love pets? Uh, what are your hobbies? What are your passion? Go and find out what are your passion. List down three passions. List down three passions. At least three. You can have more passions. And what's important things like really motivate you and allows you to even sacrifice your time, sacrifice your money, your effort to do something worthy. What change would I like to make in the world? A lot of them, they give out everything just for this. This is the most important one. So, I want you to visualize your perfect world. Specifically, imagine how people close to you, uh, you are close to you, you are interesting, and imagine how you feel living in such a world. Then write the statements in the present tense describing the perfect world of yours. How it looks, feel, sound, smell, and also how it tastes. So if I could change the world, I would have world peace, and there will be no war. This is something I would like to do. That's exactly why I want to open my uh, Loving Hub Vegan Restaurant, so that I want to encourage more people to, 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 to follow a vegan diet as many as possible. I, I, my dream is to open not just one uh, vegan restaurant, I, I want to do something to open many like 
like a chain restaurant, like McDonald's, like uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken or something like that. That's my wish. Eventually, uh, veganism will be the trend. Everybody will be adopting uh, veganism as time goes. So I believe uh, such time will come, will definitely come in the next few years. So I'm preparing myself to cater to the needs of all these people now. So have the courage to listen to your heart and intuitions that somehow already know what you are truly want to become. As Sipjo said, understanding the, and living the law of attraction is the way to get what you want in life. And uh, here are the basic principles. So that's, first of all, in order to do that, you have to, uh, the calling, as like, what is your life purpose? So before you, you, you have, you have, uh, you have a uh, uh, feeling up what do I feel most joyful, alive and fulfilled. You also feel up what natural talents and interests do I have. You also feel up what do I love doing and then what am I passionate about and what change would I like to make in this world. So I, I want you to close your eyes. You ask yourself, dear universe, please guide me as I find my way to my true destiny. Thank you. And then, then you write down your life purpose. So when you are clear about your life purpose, it's very important. I want you to write it down now so you can capture or do not lose it. While you are in the momentum, I want you to write down. This is a very important session. Once you get to your life purpose, your life will have a tremendous transformation in your life. So I want you to write down based on what you have uh, written down. So my life purpose is, what is that? For me, my life purpose is to help people to raise their vibrational energy through vegan diet and also applying the living the law of attraction. That's the reason why I opened a vegan restaurant. And also there's also another reason that I want to do the law of prosperity so that I help people to raise their vibrational energy. Because if you are vegan diet and raising your vibrational energy, your life will be very fulfilling. You will achieve many things in your life and your life, you will live with effortless success. I have, I've, I've done this myself. So I have uh, achieved many things in your life effortlessly. So I want you to also benefit from it. So I want you to write down my life purpose is, what is that? And then what you have written, now don't worry about that. I'm not going to see it. Your life purpose, you like to share with me quick. I can correct your life purpose. Uh, your life purpose cannot be like half a page or big one big paragraph. It might be very short and precise. So share your life purpose statements with somebody you feel connected and who to give you encouragement. Make sure that person that give you encouragement, not to somebody like discourage you, okay? And uh, you like to share me, I can enhance your life purpose or you can uh, send to my email address called tracy at wealth-mentals.com, tracy at wealth-mentals.com. You can share with me, I can help you to improve your life purpose. Normally I do it in the in the, in the, in the seminars that I can correct them straight away. I make sure everybody who attend my training, uh, leaving the law of attraction is a one day or two days event. I make sure everybody have their life purpose concluded before they leave the room. Okay. So set a day that I will share my purpose, life purpose by this day. So share it. So why I want you to make a commitment to share the dates because you must have completed the life purpose before you're able to share it to somebody else. So I want you to make a commitment, set a date by tomorrow or in two days time, you fine tune from there. Don't worry about that. Uh, you, you set your life purpose today, you can fine tune it, fine tune it, fine tune it, fine tune it until you really uh, feel that this is exactly. So I never changed my life purpose for, for decades. It's there, this is what, that's what I want. That's, that's the one that gave me fulfillment. So listen to yourself. Articulate your life purpose aloud, read it loud, 
so you feel comfortable then you when you really loud it it doesn't sound like me this is not really what i wanted then you can change it again so experience your purpose gaining clarity and become more real to you so my life purpose what do i feel most joyful alive and fulfilled what natural talents interests do i have what do i love doing what am i passionate about and what change would i like to make in the world so i give you a minute to write down your life purpose grace can you turn on the music Hey Daniel, turn on the music, Daniel. I can't turn on. If not, we'll turn, uh, we'll shut down Tracy. Now, now got music now. Uh, now got. Now stop it. Uh, Daniel, write down my email address. I'd like them to share with me their life purpose. Maybe I will help them to find it's you ready. their life purpose. It's already there in the chat. In the chat, yeah, okay. So you can continue to do your life purpose and then I welcome you to write to me. I will give you the feedback whether um, life purpose must be something that you can streak away, can memorize, not in a, a long, some of them have life purpose in like a big paragraph, something that you cannot remember. So you're not telling a story, you, you got to be very concise, okay? So you start with my life purpose is what? So to empower something or to, must be uh, uh, active words. So uh, I know time, we do, I don't have a lot of time. So I like to share something very, very important, uh, which is the soul for thoughts. This is, I would like to share with you this because I, I know it's so important. A soul is not something you have, it's what you are. A lot of people thought that I just have this for physical body. I need to, um, I need to study, I need to learn a lot of stuff in order to make myself very successful. I can tell you that in my class, I wasn't a very uh, 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 very good in my study. I'm just a very average student in, in my schools. And similarly to my peers, my classmates, they are also a mediocre in their study. But majority of my classmates are very successful at the moment. They're making a lot of money. Their life is very fulfilled. And I realized that a lot of those like in the A class, B class, they are studying so well, they're getting high marks. These are the people uh, living a very mediocre life, uh, a normal life. Uh, they are either accountants or they are engineers. They are even doctors or lawyers. Lawyer. They are just, yeah, just living a very uh, routine and mediocre life. So my friends, my, my classmates, they, all, they are all really uh, successful and living a very fulfilling life. Similar to me, I, I, I admit that I, I live a, quite a fulfilling life. So uh, 
you, because a lot of them just thought that you are just this physical body. To me, I'm not. 98% of me is soul consciousness and not my conscious level. So my body and soul are three primary parts of yourself. But how well do you know them? We all think we know our body and our mind pretty well. But how well do you know your soul? How well do you really know your soul? So your soul is a spiritual being and the true identities of who you are. Get to know your soul and you will come to know your true self. Soul knowledge is one of your most critical key to live in tune with your personal destiny. So um, when you are living in your soul consciousness, you realize that you have a lot of wisdom rather than just the knowledge in your head, your memories, your experience. And, um, and some of my classmates, when they study for exam, they memorize the whole book. They memorize the whole book. But when come to exam, they feel the exam. For me, I just understand the concepts. I pass the exam. I never study. So my classmates study so hard, memorize the whole book that cannot, 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 cannot pass the exam because they just follow the uh, theory step by step. When the question just tweak a little bit, they don't know how to answer that. So I, I want you to really um, tap into your soul consciousness, which is also your subconscious level. The subconscious, the subconscious level, level is a very, is a very big, big topic topics. that I would like to talk about. I always wanted to talk about the subconscious, subconsciousness, that how you can tap into your subconscious. But I know that it's a very uh, deep level. If you are not ready for it, you will, you will, you, you will lose you will lose the connection. So I, I, I come in very slowly. That's why I, I've been repeating a lot of, uh, many of the uh, content so that you can internalize it. When I talk, talk about the subconscious level, then you are able to comprehend what I'm saying. Especially when I talk about the paradigm shift, then what is this paradigm shift? I, I, will, I would like to just one, one session itself, I talk about the conscious, uh, the conscious subconscious. What you once you understand how you can tap into the subconscious level, your life change. The life will change. You're no longer the same person anymore. So you can manifest anything that you want. You understand how to tap into your subconscious level. Anything that you want, and just not follow. Just not uh, uh, based on the luck. Yeah. And also the you also I I also like to next probably next week I will like to talk about the vibrational energy. Uh, once you're able to raise your vibrational energy, luck will come to you all the time. Because when you are at a high frequency, high vibrational energy, you are also attracting the same 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 uh, vibrational energy into your life. You are in the love vibration energy. You also attract a lot of good love and a lot of uh, people admire you, uh, care for you uh, in, in reflections of who you are. If you are in the in the respect, you respect others, others also will respect you. So vibrational energy will determine whether you are in the luck or no luck. Okay, when you're low vibrational energy, that means you are in the unlucky uh, 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 circumstances. When you're high vibrational energy, you are in the lucky circumstances. So how you can activate your vibrational energy? So uh, pay, pay, uh, I, I, I keep, keep, your, keep your date, the third Wednesday of the month, uh, I will share with you how you can raise your vibrational energy. So, so knowledge is one of the most critical keys to living in turn with your personal destiny. So your soul is your spiritual being, as I said. So, so knowledge is one of the most critical key to live in tune with your personal destiny. So sources. Source knows only pure joy. The source 
the source, the universal, the universe and the source, or the God consciousness, know only pure joy, love and bliss, which are the highest vibrational states possible. You are also at that stage. Your original, your original stage is consists of pure love, pure joy, and pure bliss. And at times goes, uh, when you're a baby, I'm sure you agree with me, a baby is consists of only pure joy, love, and bliss. At times goes, we are injected with a lot of negative thoughts, good news, and negative environment that mold you into a different person. So the greatest power in the universe belongs to the source that create all things. So God, the divine, the creator, whichever terms you choose, only knows pure joy, love, and peace, which are the highest vibrational states possible. I, I want you to go back into that stage. It's possible. It's possible. We have to slowly, slowly eliminate and uh, have a paradigm shift. Whatever issue that you have, you have to let go. You have to release all the issue in your life. And then I'm sure many of you are very heavy now and carry yourself with all the memories, bad memories, phobias, and hatreds in your life. I, I want to have a session with you guys to let go of all these things. Uh, frankly speaking, I have let go of all these things. I'm very detached now. Anything that uh, come to me is not a big issue anymore. I just look into the solution. How am I going to overcome it instead of uh, linking on all, all those stuff? So the physical universe is simply the classrooms that allow you to have your soul journey. So when you encounter any difficulties, any problems, any obstacles, ask yourself this question, very important. I want you to realize that we are coming into this world is to learn, to perfect ourselves, to reach the states of pure love, joy, and bliss. Okay, go back to your original states. So in order to go, go back there, it's like, the, I bought the building at that time was so new, everything so clean. As, as we stay in for about one year, two years, what I need to do to go back to the, to the same stage, I need to remove all the garbage, all the things and repair and repaint to make it, to make it uh, uh, beautiful again. Similarly to you, uh, God has been uh, chasing you, uh, uh, cleansing you by giving you the uh, experience to let go, uh, to forgive and forget. And what is the, you always tell yourself when you come across all this issue in your life, you ask yourself, what's the lesson for me to learn from here? It's very important to find out what is the lesson for me to learn from these situations. Once you awaken about why this situation comes to you, I can guarantee you, it will not come back to you anymore. You have passed the test. If you just ignore it and you and instead of uh, uh, forgive, forget, and let go, you become more hatred, you become more angry with the person, and you want to take revenge, I can assure you the incident will come back to you again and again, again and again, until you awaken, until you realize that, oh, the lesson for me to learn is to forgive, forget, and let go. So uh, I would suggest you to read this book called the little sun and the little little soul and the sun s u n uh, little soul and the sun i will share with you later on and these books once you read these books i will tell you you will love your enemy the enemy the enemy that comes to you is the tester they are create a situation for you to mold you to uh, be a better person i i repeat again the person that hurt you the person that give you problems these are the people, they are your angels, they are the testers. They, this, this, all these people are making you a more refined person, a more refined soul that awaken your internal uh, awakening. So once you understand why this situation comes to you or you, you somebody borrow your money and never return your money, what is that you learn? Let go. Just let go. Once you let go, it's like the tons of stones, the tons that 
that that that that lift them up from your shadow shoulder. So um, it's happened to me many many times. Yeah, I tested and tested again, and uh, it was very heavy, heavy, heavy until I decided to just forgive, forget, and let go. I tell you, wow, life had tremendous change in my life. The whole thing is just like lifted up. I become so light. I become so light. So I know it works. So uh, since then onward, I'm become very detached. I'm no longer um, attached to all those like money issue or, or 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 what other people say or whatever. Because when 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 people like criticize about you, so is you were angry with the person because it's your ego issue. This is the, your your personal opinion. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. What's your soul desire most? So the highest feelings of the pure love, joy, and bliss, that is the soul desire. This is the purpose. So the soul is after the feelings. The only way to the feeling is through experience. The greatest feelings of all is the experience of oneness with the source and the feelings of pure love and joy. So Aaron and myself, we uh, 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 set aside at least two and a half to three hours a day to meditate, to be oneness with the universe. When you are reached the Samadhi stage, then you, uh, someone says you are in the oneness. You are lost consciousness, but you are your subconscious are fully awake. So uh, if you have not set aside a quiet time for yourself, start off with just five minutes and then increase to half an hour or 15 minutes, half an hour, one hour, at least maybe half an hour in the morning or half an hour a night. To us, half an hour is like, just like two minutes, three minutes. We close your eyes very fast. Half an hour is gone. It's no joke. I'm not telling you, uh, I'm telling you the truth. That's what we experience. Sometimes we close our eyes like two hours gone. Yeah, we are still conscious. It's just that we are in the very alpha state, very deep alpha stage. So we are in fact one, no matter what we do for each other is the same as doing for ourselves because we love each other. There is the essence of love. The essence of life is love. The essence of God, Buddha, Allah, or Christ is love. That's why my spiritual master uh, uh, quote. So God can't give us peace on earth if you don't make peace with ourselves, right? I'm sure you do agree with me on these statements. Uh, we have the power. We are the representative of God here. We are God's children. That's what the Bible say. Where is the Buddhist scripture say? We are the God's children. We have the God nature inside us. We are the Buddha nature inside us. We must do this, the things that we should on this level because we exist here. We must do things as a God consciousness God wants us to do. And to have love, peace, and joy. Always remember that you are you. Your true essence is love, peace, and joy. So only if you have peace within uh, yourself can we make peace. Only when we see God within ourselves can we can we God in others. Can we God? You if you see the animal. Animal is to come into this uh, planet is to help the human being. And yet we have been slaughtering them, killing them for meat for to satisfy our own belly. Think about it. Why uh, the universe want to create the animal? Is this for, for our belly? Or is it to bless the planet? To bless, the, to, to help the human being? Because most of the animals are very loving very caring uh, i mean they're very loving they're very loving creatures i i personally have a dog the dog is called happy she's 12 years old now still looks like a four five years old i also have a cat uh, 14 years old still look very young like six seven years old both of them are vegan since they are one month or well, two months old when i adopted them the cat we adopted since their baby Together to the mother, still our food, then we adopted them 
adopted the, the cat until now 14 years and they have been the vegan all this while. A lot of people say cat cannot survive as a vegan and dog cannot survive long as a vegan. My cat is 12 years old, but she's she's so energetic, like a three, four years old uh, dog. My cat is 14 years old, still look like a seven, six, seven years old cat. Beautiful fur. So um, don't have the misconception that vegan dog or vegan cat cannot live long. In fact, they are more healthy than any other dogs that I've seen. So only when we are they be empty inside, can God then fill us with wisdom and love. If we are still somebody, the ego, if we still have something, we cannot become completely empty and we cannot hold all the God's power that wants to fill within us. So you need to empty yourself with all the hatreds, all the all the angry, all the anger, all the, uh, the past. You, you need to release. You have to find a way to release because a lot of them still holding to it. They enjoy holding to it. They enjoy thinking about it. It's time for us to let go of all this. It's time for us to let go of all this issue. And um, once you have let go, you feel so blissful. You feel that because of the blissfulness that you, you generated, you also attract a lot of respect. You also attract a lot of uh, good energy from those, from those around you. And, uh, and then you feel that life is, life has changed. The, 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 the planets have become so beautiful. People are beautiful. And life is like, life is effortless. Life is effortless. So you need to vacuum, you want to uh, create a vacuum in yourself to allow the uh, God's power comes to you. So what is Samadhi? Samadhi means that when you enter into the blissful, tranquil states of mind, where you have no sorrow, no worry, no fear, in the samadhi stage, you feel absolutely perfect. We feel nothing in, is bothering us in this world. Nothing is happening at all. Everything is perfect. So samadhi is also, uh, it, it, we call the transcended level. The transcendent level also in Tarot, it say you are the alpha stage or in the theta stage, T-H-E-T-H-A, theta stage because you are in the soul consciousness stage. So yeah, yeah, at that stage, your, your conscious mind is shut down. You no longer in thinking good anymore. You are 100% on the subconscious level. So at that time, if you want to achieve anything, you want to do prayer at that, that, that time. And uh, you don't, in Samadhi stage, you don't do prayer. You just enjoy the ecstasy of the Samadhi. You feel so blissful, you are, you are in the emptiness. You, you feel emptiness. You feel so light inside. Thoughts is yearning. The soul causes you to choose the best of who you are and by its very essence, help you naturally turn into a living, your best and the most authentic life. So how can you get to know your soul? So doing deep breathing, and sometimes you want to, you, 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 sometimes you cannot get into that. You also do a countdown from five, four, three, two, one. Also, it will help you to get into that stage. And uh, being mindfulness, by mindfulness means like uh, you are living in the power of now. When you're living in the power of now, you, you are not thinking about the future. You're not worried about the future. You are not like worried about the past. You are at the moment now. While you are trying to be the mindfulness, you are most of the time, you are very happy and very blissful. And uh, meditation is the best things you can do to, to know your soul. Uh, because medita meditation also uh, helps to calm yourself in a very relaxed mood. Your breathing will slow down 
and you are not thinking anything, you are in the alpha state, you are in the subconscious stage. So time passed actually very fast. And also improve your health. A lot of people, when they meditate regularly, they have a very good health. They also help them in reducing uh, stress, reducing the um, hypertension, or also uh, enhance their, uh, I mean, reduce a lot of other sickness too. So relaxation is very important. Uh, find times to relax because I know you guys are working very hard and uh, busy, 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 busy. And uh, the only time to really rest is in your bed. Uh, I find times to just like relax in five minutes, be mindfulness, five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour a day, even five minutes. It can be very helpful. In China, most of the workers, most of the factory workers, during the uh, they always have the siesta time. In the afternoon, after their meals, they will sleep for about maybe like 20 minutes to half an hour. Everybody. The company uh, wanted everybody to have a relaxed time so that they, they re-energize their, their energy again. <clears throat> so sleep is very important. But nowadays, the youngsters die refuse to sleep. They sleep at maybe at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and they wake up at 10 or 12 noon. So uh, it's very important to have a good sleep. Uh, it would be good to sleep before 11 o'clock. Talk, talk is easy, but sometimes it's difficult. I know it's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult for me too. I, I try my best to sleep at least six hours a day. So visualization, having the creative visualization is very powerful because when you do a visualization, you are imagining the things that you want. That means the uh, manifestation is very con concrete and very solid. When you are seeing the pictures, you are having the emotion. You are having the emotion because when you see the pictures, you feel very peaceful, very happy. Yeah, that you see a beautiful. You want to buy buy a home. Then you can see a beautiful house. You create your own house. You can use a creative visualization to build your own home. The more you manifest that, the more it able to help you to attract the dreams that you want. So, what do you mean by be grounded? Because the earth energy is a power energy. When you are stressed up, uh, walk barefoot for about 15 minutes. If we can do for five minutes, 45 minutes, it will be great. I tell you, it will enhance your health. I always, you ask Aaron, I always like, when I do a walk, I always take off my shoe and then I walk. I walk with barefoot. I love it. But sometimes live in the city area, a bit difficult. A bit difficult. That's why uh, I like to go back to Ipo my hometown, so that I can have a natural ground for me to go barefoot. So the Little Soul and Son, I will recommend everybody to read these books. This is a child book that I bought for my daughter when she was two years old. This happened for uh, great reasons. So um, feel the peace of knowing that everything you experience here on earth, everything, joy, love, solitudes, and togetherness, laughter and tears, fears and fate, trust and betrayal, success and failure. The Little Soul in the Sun is a simple and powerful stories that bring children, not just children, everybody. Um, a very profound truth. There is no absolute good or bad. There's no absolute good or bad. The yin and yang both are essential. They need to live side by side that underneath all that happens in the world, all that we call good and all that we call bad is just love. And your child will discover the, a God that she or he can love because God is love and all that is little soul who are part of God. So if you don't want to buy this book, I suggest you download it from uh, YouTube. It's available. Uh, you can read. You can read these books or there's also audio available. Just write down. It's very important for you to read these books. Once you read these books, there is no bad, good thing or bad thing anymore. There's no bad experience and good experience in the world, in, in this world anymore. Whatever that's happening to you is an experience. It's a journey. 
is a learning stage. I encourage everybody to make a commitment. Just 15 minutes, you can finish the whole book, The Little Soul and the Sun. You will be amazed about this. Um, I, I will assure you that this book will transform your life. So believe I'm here for reasons and my purpose is greater than my challenge. My life purpose is to end. This is my life purpose. My life purpose is to empower, inspire people to fulfill their purpose and realize their dreams by raising the vibrational level through vegan diet and leading the law of attraction. And this is my purpose for a long, long time. So your purpose reflects your inner passions and also your natural gift. The universe support you when you are aligned with your purpose. So like the sunflower seeds, we have the inner design to grow and fulfill our purpose. And life with purpose, the magic of who you are. So I know I exceeding the time. So there will be, actually there's a lot for me to share. And um, I just able to share about 60% of what I'm trying to share today. Probably I will I have the opportunity to share how to set your goal. It's very important. And a lot of people do not know how to set proper goals. And I used to teach organization on uh, organization. I sell uh, expensive packages to the corporate the organization to how to develop goal setting. So I want to share the techniques and also the format that I have created to, so that you can apply it. And uh, once you understand how to use it, so it will be very easy for you to and, and uh, uh, follow any projects. If you encounter any projects, follow this. This system will help you to enhance your your achievement even faster. <laughs>